In this video tutorial, we're going to discuss the Roomulator, which is a tool used to help guide technicians on their passive return air strategy. Do you have a customer that's got a hot or cold bedroom? Have you tried measuring the pressure from underneath the door? Ideally, we don't want the pressure in this bedroom to exceed approximately 3 pascals. This can be measured with a micromanometer. If you measure the supply air diffusers with the door open and the doors closed and you get a reduction of flow with the doors closed, then this room needs a proper return air path. Let's get started. First, turn the system on max cool or heat. Then, let's install a hose from the input side of our DG8 gauge underneath the door. Set the gauge on the floor in front of the door. Now place the roomulator in the corner of the door opening and the door casing. Open the door till the gauge reads 3 pascals, then record the measurement on the roomulator. As we flip the card over, let's follow the process from left to right. We can see that we have just completed step 1, measuring our door opening to 3 pascals with an opening of 1.5 inch. Let's move on to step 2 which lets us know the corresponding CFM needed for transfer. In this case, we need to move approximately 210 CFM. Step 3 gives us three options for a passive transfer method. We can either use a round transfer duct, a through wall transfer grill, or we can increase the bottom of the door undercut. Because the CFM quantity is too high, door undercut is not a reasonable option. I hope you find this video useful. If you want more information on the tools used, please look in the details below the video.